In Indonesia, one of the second highest cancers in men is colorectal cancer with the number of new cases reaching 8.6% of the total. While in the world, colorectal cancer is estimated to be ranked as the fourth most common cancer type. Colorectal cancer is the third most common malignancy in the world and the second leading cause of death in the United States. World Health Organization data estimate there were more than 1,800,000 new cases of colorectal cancer and more than 880,000 colorectal cancer related death in 2018. Recent studies have found that developing in countries, particularly in Asia, the incidence of cancer tends to increase. Prevention and treatment of cancer will be more optimally improved by utilizing the potential of local plants. It will encourage national medicinal independence as one of the goals of Indonesia's National Health Convention. Surveys conducted show that the plants Anana muricata and Catarina sorcius are widely formed as hedge or garden plants. Both have high potential styles to be utilized as solutions, so they need to be studied further. Based on the two facts above, it is necessary to conduct a more in-depth study of the potentials of both plants to be used as colorectal cancer therapy, thus to reduce the incidence of colorectal cancers. I'm Nigel Arkanipia. And I'm Amanda Kalanita. Conducted studies and researchers related to colorectal cancers treatment by testing the potential of Anona muricata and Cataranthostrosius leaf extract as anti-cancer compounds by nanoparticles ultrasonication method. Our focus is to know the composition of Anona muricata and Cataranthostrosius, make the nanoparticle ultrasonication quality of Anona muricata and Cataranthostrosius leaf extract and analyze its effectiveness so that it can increase its potential as an anti-cancer material to reduce the incidence of colorectal cancer. The research steps divided into four main parts. First, extraction process. Anona muricata and Cataranthostrosius leaves was extracted by maceration using 96% ethanol at room temperature. After filtration, the crude extract is evaporated with the flotary vacuum evaporator until the water ethanol evaporates and the partitions become dry. Second, phytochemical and FDIR tests. The material content tested by a phytochemical process to determine the content of active compounds. An anamoricata and cataranthostrosis leaves extract that has become a fine powder tested with FTIR to know its functional group. Third, particle size analysis. Fine extracts of anamoricata and cataranthostrosis are ultrasonically processed so that the particle size is classified as nano to produce more effective results. After that, the nanoparticle extracts are tested with a particle size analyzer to make an analysis about the particle size. Fourth, molecular docking program analysis. In this study, molecular docking was carried out with the target proteins and compounds target as well as collateral cancer drugs as a comparative control. Extract of anamoricata and cataranthostrosis are mixed. This extract is then test for phytochemical to determine the presence of alkaloids, steroids, terpenoids, flavonoids, phenolics, and saponins. From the results, positive results were obtained for all parameters tested. For more analysis, FTIR test was carried out and shows that there are several functional groups as we can see at the ground. A wider spectrum is found in the composition of the OH compound and the NH functional group, which indicates a high level of alkaloids. In addition, the functional group CC, CO, and CH were also found to be fairly dominant groups. This indicates the presence of three terpenoids, which is quite high. Based on phytochemical tests, FTIR, and also Vitorator, the four compounds were selected to be tested and studied in silico with the target protein Epidermal Growth Factor Receptor or EGFR. They are argentinin, atherospermidin, ursalic acid, and finblastin. After phytochemical and FTIR has been done, the ultrasonications of leaves extract process. The particle size analysis test showed that the size is in 160.8 nm. These results are fairly good for drug delivery which ranges from 50 until 300 nm. Good delivery here means that the compounds can reach the target cancer cells to then help inhibit the growth of these cells without becoming damaged or degraded during the journey. Effectiveness analysis of Anona muricata and Cataranthus roseus conducted an in silico study with molecular docking. The strongest bone is in the EGFR protein with ursolic acid. 
This binding value is stronger than the Jeffitinium drug control with binding score of negative 9.0 kcal per mole. Meanwhile, Argentinin and Asteraspermidin has a bone quite similar to Jeffitinium. The weakest bone was found in finblastin with EGFR protein with a bone score of only negative 4.6 kcal per mole. EGFR proteins that have been attached to the compounds atherosperminin, argentinin, and uracilic acid will be inhibited in proliferations as when attached to the drug control gefitinib. This in silico study can prove the potential of Anona muricata and Cateranthus roseus as an anti-colorectal cancer with a targeted EGFR target protein with the following signaling pathway. From the whole analysis, we can conclude that the phytochemical and FTIR results indicate the presence of relatively high level of alkaloids and terpenoids. The results of the nanoparticles show a particle diameter of 160.8 nanometers. Based on the literature, this size has suitable for drug delivery resistance ranging from 50 until 300 nanometers. Molecular dating analysis shows that ethers feminine and argentinin from Endona muricata as well as rosalic acid from cataract structure slips can replace the action of the control drug capsinibs to inhibit the proliferation of EGFR that cause colorectal cancer. For this research, it is necessary to carry out future tests in in vitro to determine the permeability of character cancer cells to Anona muricata and Cataranthus roseus leaf extract compounds. Also, to conduct future research according to drug standardizations so that can be used as a drug to support national drugs independence. That's all our presentation. Thank you for your attention. We hope this research can become an alternative cancer treatment and be developed as a natural medicine that's safe and effective. See you in another project. Bye! Bye.